Hi everyone, this is Susie from Dragonfly Bees. I'm an online reseller, primarily in jewelry. And in this video, I am opening up the last bag of a mystery jewelry lot that I purchased. This here photo was taken at the end of this video, but I thought I'd give you a sneak peek. So this is a top view of the last bag that um, I received from my mystery jewelry lot purchase that I made from my pink bag. And I realized that the bags were <clears throat> not evenly distrib distributed. So this bag is much larger than the other two that I had opened in the previous videos. So I believe I'm going to have to split this reveal in two. So. Another thing I want to make mention is Gina's lots um, cost $50 for five pounds and she charges $8 for shipping. So <clears throat> what I said in my previous videos, if you watch them, was incorrect. But anyway, here, uh, here's the first look. Ruby slippers. And... Um, Let's begin. Okay, first item I grabbed out is this necklace, gunmetal chain, really pretty faceted purple and burgundy panels, um, lobster clasp, extender, and this is the back. So this looks um, very nice, very clean. very pretty. Next is this pretty number. It's like coral color. Really pretty, but they're plastic, but they look great along with the um, little crystals on either end of each one of these um, each one of these coral like stones, faux stones. It has a hook closure. Oh, come on. Got it. <clears throat> All right. Let's look at the back. Let's look at the back. There's the back. Pretty nice. Very clean. I must say it's not lightweight at all. Um, this is this is quite pretty. Very very beachy, but it's also got some girliness to it, the feminine quality of the the crystals. So yeah. All right, I'm getting Pocahontas vibes. This is some choker. It's got glass beads with metal. Uh, beads, silver metal beads, and um, it's on a leather, that's genuine leather, cord. I guess you just need some unraveling, but I think it's pretty cool. It has these um, metal panels that, oh, uh, I, I guess I can clean them up. They look a little bit, um, they look a little soiled but yeah here's another pretty number faux pearls beautiful crystal rondelles and you have these um bicones these are plastic it's quite heavy it has a toggle clasp very ornate i mean look at that this filigree and even this bar is quite fancy. It has some clear AB coated stones at the end. Um, this is very pretty. Now, 
we have this bronze tone chain with the lobster clasp and a little solid circle at the end. This is all um, faux stones, uh, a lot of bonus hair, and there's a bunch of um, bronze beads here. Where, where are they? Um, oh, okay, no, I thought it was bronze. It's a bronze bead cap. These are wooden beads, and you have a whole bunch of these uh, le leaves and a whole bunch of hair. <laughs> There's a lot of hair. I will clean the hair out. Um, I, I was referring to these these leaves. Um, a lot of hair. Anyway, I mean, nonetheless, it's a pretty, it's a pretty necklace. Don't you think? Okay, next up we have this silver tone triple triple uh, chain necklace. Um, and it has these um, AB coated Aurora Borealis coated rhinestones. It has a lobster clasp and an extender, and there is a bonus hair. Okay, got that out. There is a maker's mark, and if anyone knows what CD stands for, I'm sure it's not Christian Dior. Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments, okay? Yep. That looks like CD to me, but this is, um, let's see, I guess this is a, a choker. Now this necklace is made up of clusters of AB coated, kind of like a copper tone, amber tone, um, rhinestones, and there's little tiny rondelle spacers in between. And then you have that same color bead. These are bicone beads going up the neckline. And it ends in a silver tone lobster clasp, an extender with a bead at the end. So this is a, this is a, a unique color. It's very, um, very nice. Wow. This is one heavy metal. Um, look at this. It's it's a beautiful matte finish, but there's also textured um, links in there. It, it's multi links all all in mesh together. I mean, this is super super heavy. It is in really good condition. I mean, this is heavy. I can't even, I don't, I don't know. It's so heavy. It's quite long. There is a toggle clasp. It's, it's in very good condition. And there is also a tag. Pierre Cardin. Pierre Cardin. Wow. It says 30 inches. Yeah, I knew it was quite long. Um, yeah. Pierre Cardin. Multi-link. Mesh. 30-inch necklace. Wow. Okay, now I feel like wrapping. Hmm. This pretty um, blue-green tone necklace has a lobster clasp, a little tiny tag. It says SK China. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. 
Okay, uh, one of the beads is cracked. Oh, and look. That tells me it might be actual turquoise. I mean, I guess this could be glued together if somebody um, doesn't mind. Quite long. I also see 925 on the lobster clasp. I will, um, I'll test this also, and I'll put the results on the screen. So here's another large necklace. It's very unusual because if you notice, each shape is so, so unique in its own way. Uh, nothing is the same. I mean, you have the chips, which of course are all one of a kind. And you have single strand going up the neck, a lobster clasp at the end with a extender. And it also has a little, tur um, I don't know if this is, it's probably a highlight. I, I will check. But it has a little uh, bead at the end. So you have a single strand and then it goes down to these two layers. So this is really unique, very heavy. Very, very southwestern. There are some uh, decorative spaces in between as well as the beads. So, here you have it. Found something in a bag. So, let's take this out and take a look. This is a This is a necklace. And um, it's a Banana Republic necklace with the woven cord on one side, on the inner. Okay. And then you have these gorgeous crystals on the outside. There is some, um, a little fray right there. Other than that, it looks to be in pretty good condition. This is the bottom. So you have these crystals hanging off. The cord is quite clean, you can see. Let's look at the back. This, this looks to be pretty nice. You have the nice uh, extender with the three separate hoops that you can uh, attach to. Alright, here you have it. Uh, Banana Republic necklace. Next up we have this stunner. Hannah gave me Cle Cleopatric, uh, Patrick, <laughs> Cleopatra vibe. Oh gosh, this is gold tone. Beautiful um, inverted triangular pendant with these marquee shaped rhin um, rhinestones at the end. And let me pick it up so you can see. It is a stunner. These look like uh, wings or feathers. And uh, let's see if anything is missing. Yep. 
I see a missing crystal there. So that's one. Another one here. So that's two. Oh. Three and four. Well, at least the center is nice. There's nothing missing here. I mean, with the other stones missing, it's so hard to tell. Uh, so far, I counted four, right? And then on this side, five, six, seven, Okay, so, so I believe there's seven, there's a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of hair. Um, I believe there's seven missing um, crystals. Otherwise, it's really pretty. Going up the, going up the neckline, you have these um stones and they're all there and this looks like a, a curb chain um type of style and then you have the lobster clasp extender with the bead i don't see a maker on this look at the back That's what the back looks like. All right. Pretty cool. Very nice. Next up we have this clamper. Um, that's magnetic. It was pretty hard to open, but it's because it's kind of dirty, so I need to clean that up. Uh, the inside looks okay. It's green enamel with the gold tone design. There is some wear. Yeah, here, here. I mean, other than that, other than that, I don't see a maker's mark, but this is what it would look like. It's quite heavy, but yes, there, there is wear, you know, you can see it's, but it, it's, uh, because it's consistent, it looks like it's part of the design, so it's not bad. It's a very pretty clamper bracelet. Okay, found this very heavy floral open cuff, and it says July, July, oh, it also says Salisbury Pewter, so this is a Salisbury Pewter uh, floral open, open bangle. Here is another bangle, open cuff. It is quite worn inside. There is elephants, elephants, and more elephants all around. So you got a whole herd of elephants and you have the sun shining in the middle. So this is a... Uh, very lightweight. And it's not magnetic. So I'll let you know what it is. I will. So you got these two bangles. Next up, you have this gunmetal uh, tone bracelet. And there are crystals all around. 
and they're all there. This has a uh, has somewhere as well. Um, you can see some of the copper coming through around the rim. I mean, other than that, because of the color, it is a very, very pretty bangle. It's very nice. It kind of has, you know, it's got that rough look, but with the uh, crystals, it gives it a nice feminine touch. Found these two little cuties, gold tone turtles. You can see their little eyes and their little web feet. Very nicely uh, detailed. See that face? Little feet. And it's on a pearl chain. There is some peeling on these tiny little pearls. Um, right there. Right there. But this is such a sweet piece. This is a... Think of Grandma wearing a cardigan. And she has this clipped on either side to keep it from, I guess, opening. So I think it's a sweater clip. I don't see, I don't see any maker's mark, but they're cute. Little uh, turtle sw um, sweater clip. Okay, this one here is a triple strand faux pearl bracelet. It looked like uh, nuggets. And there is a gold tone uh, box clasp. <clears throat> uh, I'm such a dunce when it comes to this. Uh, uh oh. Um, I just closed it and this came off. But I'm sure it's very easy to put back in. But anyway, I'll fix it. There you go. Now this is pretty cool. I mean, it's whiter than my tabletop. Uh, these are like milk white cubes. They feel like they're uh, acrylic or lucite. Oh. They have little white seed beads in between and a barrel clasp closure. So I kind of find, I find this, uh, I find this fun. I, very mod. I like it. I like that. Next we have this really heavy, heavy heart. And it has this nice design in the front. The way it's designed, um, I think you had to have holes on either side for, I don't know, air. Because there's a hole on the bottom, a hole here, and a hole on the other side. This is the back. I'm thinking maybe pewter because, I mean, this is a weapon. This is heavy. This is very heavy. It's so heavy, I don't know why they would put it on a cotton cord. Uh, these are metal beads. It's on a very... Uh, worn cord but um it could be switched out because you can see there is uh, the bail there so yeah this could be switched out easily um because this here can be worn with a a different um a different chain Here we have this very long uh, necklace. 
I'm starting at the end where it has the lobster clasp. It's gold tone. There is a maker's mark there and it says 1946. So as you go down the chain, you have these little cat tiger's eye beads, some blue beads, some more beads, and then you have this pendant. This pendant needs to be, okay, it looks like a little fan with all these little danglies and then you have a um, tiger's eye teardrop pendant here, but you also have one on this layer up there. So let me see if I can let you see this closer. Um, okay, I see uh, on this little ornament here, there's a little pink stone on one side, but I don't see a corresponding one on the opposite side but that's okay I mean it's still it's still pretty uh oh oh this uh okay this came off over here I guess <laughs> oops oops uh oops there it is okay let me just hook that back in uh, I'll tighten it, but yeah, it, it hooked right back in. So 1946 is, I, I'm not familiar with the brand. I mean, I heard of it, but I don't, I'm not familiar with uh, its jewelry as much because I don't normally get a lot of it. But I mean, this is, um, this is pretty sweet. It's kind of a, it gives me a, a um, like a real cool boho vibe. What do you think? What do you think so far of this mystery jewelry lot? I think it's very eclectic, very diverse in um, styles. Uh, you get a little bit of everything. I'll, I'll tighten that. <laughs> okay, the sun, the sun set, so the lighting may not be as um, may not be as good, but I'll try. This here is a gold tone necklace with all these little discs. And they have a rose gold tone flower um, alternating on alternating disc. And then the ones in between have this um, stripe pattern. So this is very unusual. It's very very different it's not as heavy as it looks it has like a like a paper clip chain well that's the extender with the a bead at the end and it has a, a hook closure so let's look at the back so you can see the construction it is connected all with um like that so this is um this is pretty it's very 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 different because of the lighting um and it's nighttime. I I don't think these are coming out looking uh, looking the color that they actually are. I mean, it's really more like a bronzy brass tone. Um, but when I first look at it, it looks black on the on camera. But this is uh, very unusual because look at the bottom. You got, you got this going on. These look to be like a navy 
blue black cluster of um of beads and disc and they're all attached to this bronzy beaded net net thing i don't know what is this this is so unusual it's kind of like um Uh, coat of armor, um, but with a uh, a feminine touch to it. You have um, you have this. It it ends in a lobster class with a uh, extender. So and this is the back. So unusual. Let's see. Um. Oh no, that's just fuzz. See how that's constructed? It's really, 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 really unique. It just feels fun to play with. <laughs> um, yeah, oh. Is, yeah, if you notice, there's all these rings inside and all these little beads are hung around each ring. That gives, gives the, um, that, that enables it to be so um, articulating because it's very flexible, very um, moldable, I guess, you know. I know, I'm spending too much time on this one. But anyway, uh, lighting is not the greatest right now, so I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to continue tomorrow during the daytime when... Uh, because I want you to see exactly what, what I see. And looking at the camera, it's not quite, um, it's not showing you the real um, tone. So anyway, okay. So far, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for taking time out from everyone's busy day to, to come spend some time with me. And uh, please like the video. It truly, truly helps a lot from what I hear with regards to algorithms and things with, you know, with YouTube. Um, I'm a fairly new channel. I only started right before the new year. And I appreciate everyone's support. I'm meeting so many wonderful people. I thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And ring that bell so that way you you'll be alerted when I continue this part <laughs> all right thanks everyone have a good night have a good day whatever time you're watching this just stay safe and please be well bye